everybody, this is Star from H&S Designs Now, um, and in today's uh, video, uh, I wanted to play around with some UV resin. Um, if you have watched any of my previous videos, you've seen I had a couple of unboxing, so to speak, you know, Amazon haul or whatever type of videos where I showed, you know, hey, look here, I ordered some UV resin, yay, you know, and... Um, so I kind of wanted to give um, sort of a, um, uh, a, a review, I guess you could say, uh, over the differences of the UV resins that I have um, acquired, uh, as well as showing exactly what I'm talking about uh, with them uh, to help, I guess, educate you guys, because uh, I don't want you guys to go through the same thing that I did. Um, so, you know, if you can see here, you know, I've got a, a, a couple of things already made. Uh, I've got a couple of molds and some pieces and an empty bezel right here. Um, I want to point out this one, this piece right here. Uh, and I'm not sure, yeah, you can kind of see that right there. It looks like there's a big gaping hole. And that's because, in a ways, there was. Uh, when I made this piece, which I love how it turned out. It is really cute. I think it did a fairly decent I think I did a decent job at least of laying everything out um, but I had ordered this resin right here off of Amazon which if I can remember to I will actually put the link to it in the description box um, uh, and if I miss any links or anything like that and you guys would like to know about them please comment and let me know um, but I got this in the mail yesterday and I thought, well, let me try to, you know, play around with it a little bit and try to make something. Well, this is what I made with it. And so first off, you can see that there is, yeah, it looks like a big old air bubble, which it's actually completely filled in, as you can kind of see right there. And if you also, whoops, look very closely right along here, it looks like there's a big crack which there is, and that is because when I was making this piece, with UV resin, you want to, you want to do it in layers. Um, and I was doing that, but it shrank so much that it distorted the piece. Um, and so, you know, there's, you can see this, some of the glitter just, you know, didn't want to quite do right. There's overflow in spots. There's underflow in spots. Uh, it is, even though I did this yesterday, and I cured it very well, it's still quite tacky to the touch on all sides. No matter where I touch, it is very tacky. Um, so I'm kind of, un I'm very unhappy with this resin. However, I thought, well, let me give it another shot. Maybe I did something wrong. And then this way, if the results happen to happen the same way with this resin, you see it on a video you, and you know I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you guys or anything uh, so it's gonna be kind of a review and kind of a um, just let's see how it goes you know uh, now with this piece uh, I was just playing around actually before I got my mail um, and I thought oh, I want to make some wintry um, Christmas themed items and I thought I really want to use my resin in a bezel so you know I took a couple of my little snowflake um, um, pieces right here uh, one of them as you can kind of see it fit all the way but the other one didn't so I had to <laughs> I had to cut it off and I'm like I hope it looks okay and I just filled in the back with some loose uh, white shimmery eyeshadow because I wanted it to continue to look like snow um, so we're going to, uh, try to replicate that. Um, and we're actually going to try to replicate this look, uh, in one of these two, but I'm not going to be using the same resin with this one. I'm actually going to use this resin doing just something else, just randomly. Uh, now to replicate this, I'll be using this resin, uh, that I got a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that. And while this resin, um, since using it, um, it is a thicker resin, so it has taken me some time to get used to. Um, I, it, 
it sets well. It does well. It is. It, sh it you know all resin shrinks, but this one doesn't doesn't shrink nowhere anywhere near what this one did. So we're going to kind of do a side by side comparison of brands uh, and different things and stuff, and and you know I'll show you how I kind of thought to put this together and everything, and just it's a little bit of a mod podge of a video, and so mm, yeah. So how about um, we'll clean all this up and let's get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, we've got our mold, uh, which this mold I uh, found and purchased on Amazon, um, which I will, again, I will uh, try to remember to put a link in the description. I love this mold. It's a fairly deep mold has some nice large uh, holes for stringing um, and different shapes that I've already got and they're, they're nice large pieces. Uh, the only downside I found to this mold is these parts right here are nice and thick. You can see how thick it is but right here uh, at the bottom of each uh, cavity it it just seems really thin. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, not really doing a review video on molds. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to kind of point that out. So, you know, kind of be mindful of how things are. Which I'm actually, I see I, see I got a little bit of hair in here. And I don't want that in there. So I just take a little bit of tape. And I actually had to clean this up earlier because it had a lot of glitter left over. Uh, where I made that piece last night and when I do things I have to get lazy and I don't <laughs> I don't clean it up afterwards. That's horrible But just you know make sure that you you do clean uh, your mold uh, very well between uses because uh, residue can kind of stay in there and You don't want that, you know, you don't want it looking yucky. Ah, oh, come on, peace. Oh, got something else. There we go. All right, I think I got that pretty well. So, the tape is sticking to my hand. <laughs> All right, so uh, the first thing I want to do real quick with this tree that I have in this piece, I had actually taken the tree because uh, it's a sticker. I had taken it straight off and I was having such an incredible hard time getting the tree to stay in without sticking, staying stuck to everything. So I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, with this one, I just cut that backing and I thought, well, I'll cut around it. And that way I won't have quite as difficult of a time uh, with this one, hopefully. Which actually these came in a pack, which I'll show you a different one that's similar, uh, just at the Dollar Tree, you know, holiday stickers. And I thought, oh, those would be fairly nice, you know, in, in some pieces. Um, I thought, let me try it, you know. And I like them. I think they're really cute, you know. So I'm just cutting around the tree just to cut that plastic off. Um... That's all I'm trying to do. I don't want to cut the tree itself. Uh, but at the same time, like, I want the tree out. <laughs> oh. Didn't quite. Let it go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get as close to that one as I wanted to, but that's okay. Because I'd rather have just, I'd rather you be able to see just a little, whoop. I'd rather you be able to see just a little bit of that extra plastic to the side than me having to fight with, um, you know, with it, with the gooey, tapey stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to apologize right now before I get too far. If I go off camera, I am so sorry. I'm still, as long as I've now had my um tripod piece uh i'm still not entirely used to it i have to remember exactly where it's sitting uh because it's one that i can move around fairly easily and if you guys notice that i hit it quite often it's because it's it's literally sitting right in front of me it's one that clamps to my desk i love it but it kind of gets in the way 
at times. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get these plastic pieces in, in my molds or anything else. What if I can get them to come off? I've almost got that one. Arr, oops. There I go hitting the arm again. Get off. There goes one. Okay. And I think that's 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 pretty good. I don't know if you guys can really see it very well. And I'll actually trim that one up just a little bit. That one seems a bit long. Alright. There we go. So there's the cutout of the tree. Um, so I started off with pouring um, a layer of resin all the way around, getting it spread really well. So that's what we'll do first. And I'm doing this one because I want, uh, just in case you wanted to see how to make this piece, I wanted to show you that first. So I'm not trying to do a whole lot. This is mostly to like help um, when I set the pieces down uh, the tree and, and things like that, uh, it'll it'll help it to have somewhere to attach to. Uh, and I gotta get a stir stick. I almost forgot about that. And which one really good thing about um, UV resin, you don't necessarily have to have a stir stick, but I like to use the stir stick uh, to move the resin around instead of a toothpick because I don't want the end of the toothpick to scratch the mold. Um, I'm sure people have had success with not scratching their molds with their toothpicks. I just don't want to take that chance. It's just a personal thing. Got an air bubble. Go away. <laughs> Alright. And so I'm going to let it sit for whoop, just a minute. Alright. Just to kind of let it kind of even off. Um, and hopefully look better. So I'm just going to kind of move that to the side just a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get this one kind of going. Uh, so I've got my little two star, uh, snowflakes. And you can either do like I did or you could do the opposite. You could set them in different, different you know, ways. You could probably uh, layer them like that. I just didn't want it to sit too high. Um, and I think, I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with leaving the blue one in, you know. Now with this, with this piece, with this bezel, because you see how the, um, the bale is, it's going to sit funny and crooked on my table. So I've got to get my, I just use a sticky notepad because it has enough thickness that I can set it on it on the edge and it sits completely flat. So, what I start off with again, put a little layer of resin down, or actually did I? No, actually I didn't, not with this one, sorry, I'm blanking, because these have these little sticky pieces on the back. I did not do that. I forgot about that. And luckily, I, 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 I think I got luck, because no air bubbles that I could tell, <laughs> at least none that tried to escape. So, I just take the little little piece off. Um, I put it in my pliers. And this is where you want to kind of figure out where do you want your snowflake to sit. Because while it does have that little bit of a, a gluey, sticky piece, it can move around a little bit. But I'm just applying pressure, trying to make it fairly even. So, that's a pretty good spot. So, you saw that this other one isn't going to sit in there evenly uh, so all I did is I take a pair of cutters okay I don't want to use my good flush cutters on this just because uh, but I, you know I don't mind to use you know a pair like this I'm just gonna cut off pieces okay and I think I'm actually gonna do the opposite side All right, let's see how that's going to fit. And I see it's not. Oh, that makes me sad. But I know how it will fit is to turn. Oh, it's not going to. So we can just 
kind of lift it up. That's the good thing. It's not totally and completely stuck on it yet. It is, but it's not. All right, you know. So, yeah, I still have to, no matter what. Oh, it makes me sad. So, I'm just going to cut this other one off. So, there's the other piece of our snowflake. Okay. And actually, if you want, you can still use these pieces to make it look like there are other snowflakes around. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Just so that way, even though these snowflakes were really cheap, they were they were purchased at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, you know, you don't want any waste. Now, unfortunately with these, though, I don't have anything that will um, stick down to it. So I think what I might do is let me go ahead and take this piece off. Paper. Get my... Uh, and at this point, it doesn't really matter if I move this too much. Because I don't have any of the uh, resin in there yet. And that's what's important. Okay. Got that down. Okay. So now, if, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of resin over here. If I can get it to come out. <laughs> uh, in which I'm trying not to get my hand or the bottle or anything like in the way of the um, camera so I do apologize ahead of time so there's just a little bit and that's just enough so I can get these little pieces to stick down so I'm just going to take my, my stir stick again oh and I got a hair <laughs> uh, I'm just going to kind of spread it now with this one because it's in a, a bezel and not a mold I wouldn't mind using um, a toothpick instead but because I have the stir stick I might as well just use it you know just kind of get a fairly decent spread okay and then just pick up whichever pieces you want to use make sure you get it the right uh, angle oh and it's still ended up upside down oh no there we go that way it can kind of look like there's other snowflakes peeking through. And you're sideways. No, 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 no. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right. You just take this one. That ain't where I wanted you. I want you over here. There we go. All right. Then I think I am going to put this last one in here. Now, I would suggest that you do use uh, gloves uh, while using resin because I did, did just touch it and it's, eh, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not the worst thing either. But so now that I've got that, for the moment, I'm just going to scooch it aside. And we're going to come back to this. So if you can kind of tell, it does look nice and even now. Like you can see there's a little bit of bumpage on the side and that's just because it's it's a curve, you know. But it does look much better. Now you can also see that there are bubbles in there. Uh, we're going to make an attempt to get those out. And I like to use my handy dandy lighter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now luckily though, for this effect, the, the bubbles might actually work. So, all right, now that we've got those ready, I'm um, going to move things out of the way. Okay, and we're going to set, turn this around. We're going to get this close, and we're going to just pop this right there and let it set for the full 99 uh, seconds. Um, Sometimes, depending on how thick of a, a layer that I put down, I may run this twice. Uh, but most of the time, as long as I do a fairly thin layer, I do just, just do it once. Um, also, when you are curing, if you have to kind of, if you've got one like this that you can move around really easily, make sure that you do put your lids back on your uh, resin bottles because you don't want them to harden up on you. That would not be good. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to speed, let this kind of 
fast forward a little bit because I'm gonna I think I am gonna let this uh, go for a second round as well so I'll be back <laughs> done okay so uh, of course the point in doing this one was to get the resin that we put down to cure so that it keeps those pieces in place and now we've got a nice little base uh, for this one so now we will let's see right here go ahead get your tree and place it wherever you may want to have it okay and because I do suspect that the resin should be a little tacky, I don't know for sure, hopefully that'll give um, the tree something to kind of stick to. But I don't think it is. Uh, and actually, what I'll do... Oh, that left a little imprint. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I'm actually just going to put some resin down. Not a lot. Just enough to kind of give everything something to stick to. And the reason why I did uh, an initial first thin layer is I wanted... Um, so sometimes it doesn't quite look right if you just put things in there and then cure it. You know. And with UV resin, especially if you're putting things that um, the light cannot fully penetra penetrate, uh, it won't look right. It just it, it, won't, it won't cure. Uh, so you do want to make sure that it does have that uh, time to, and opportunity to cure. Uh, so I like to always put down a first initial layer. All right, and this gives this something to definitely stick to now. All right, so, um, and then I also used some of these little... Uh, you could call them snowballs, I guess. Uh, star fillers. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I thought they would look cute. So that's all I'm going to put on there. And then I also had found some glitter, which a lot of this stuff I actually found at the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I was like, yay for Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to get, I wanted this silver one. I wanted this silver star, this uh, gold star, excuse me. I said silver and I meant to say gold. And I'm actually going to set that right above the tree. Come in and get another star. Place that down where I want it. Oop, I lost that one. <laughs> and it's got some opal flakes in here it looks like as, as well. And I absolutely love that because I love the way opal uh, looks it's just absolutely gorgeous but it was very I, I actually did a, did try to separate the opal a little bit from uh, from the rest of it to try to get some of that and just put it on there loose and it was very difficult to do so I was like mm, don't know if I'm gonna be successful so I'm gonna give up <laughs> so you know, you can, if you've got something like this, you can try that, definitely. Uh, if you have, actually, this this glitter, uh, or whatever you want to call it, and you have had success to get the, the, the shredded pieces separated, hey, you know, let me know. What did you do? How did you do it? Because that's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> so, I'm just going to set that aside. That's all of that that I'm going to use. Um, and then... A little bit more resin down 
Again, we're gonna, we're just doing thin layers. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit for you. And there we go. There we go. And I just wanted to do that right there to in case to get a nice a uh, little bit around um, where the hole is, the stringing hole, I guess you can call it. I'm not trying to do a whole lot right now. I'm just trying to kind of do a little bit of fill in, but not too much. You do want to make sure you get enough filled on the sides so that it doesn't look you know, weird. Oops, got my spout too far in there. I do still need a little bit more over the tree. All right, I think that's pretty good for that one. Get that drop to go down. And I do want to kind of push these balls down a little bit Hope they will. That's about as far as they're gonna go. Okay, that one pushed down a little bit, but the others didn't. That's okay. All right, so that one's good. I'm just gonna kind of move that aside. All right, and now I'm going to actually get. <laughs> I forgot to pull that out. I'm sorry. The little eyeshadow piece. Aha, right here, right here. This is another dollar store find. Uh, use shimmering loose eyeshadow. This is. Woo, sorry, I forgot that I'm zoomed in. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is shimmering loose eyeshadow. Uh, with a little brush. It's in Snow White, and I thought, well, that ought to look pretty cute. Uh, kind of for a backing on this and I like that it does have this its own uh, brush because you know then that way if you only use it for this resin and, and things like this you don't have to worry about it cross-contaminating any of your brushes so that's really really awesome now with this you see I'm just kind of putting it over everything it's supposed to make it look snowy so that's the point um, and I'm just dipping it in just getting some getting some uh, sh eyeshadow on there and I'm just brushing it on tapping it on you know now um, when I made the first one like this I did have to do this in several different layers uh, because the snowflake pieces are thicker than what the bezel tray is. Uh, so to get a nice uh, even uh, dome, you will want to do more than uh, two or three uh, pours just to get it look nice and, and even and look pretty. So that's about all of that I'm gonna put down. Now at this point, oh, if I can get this to screw on there, Come on. That's good enough. <laughs> uh, at this point, if you wanted to, you could actually also add a little bit of glitter uh, to like the hollow spots. Uh, I think for this one, though, I think I'm just not going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, pour down my resin, and I'm going to make sure I get it in between all of the little snowflakes arms, I guess you could say and let it kind of fall into place, I guess you could say. I'm not worried if I get the resin on top of it, because that's fine. There's going to be resin on top of it anyway. I just want to make sure that this resin can kind of seep under a as much as it needs to so that I don't get any air bubbles. getting it in there pretty well try not to put too much 
but try to make sure that there is enough uh, so that it's getting in between everywhere it needs to go. A little bit right there. All right. And I think that's going to be okay for the moment. So with this one, I actually am, whoo, I actually am going to use a toothpick to encourage the resin to move where I need it to go. Get it in there. I see I had an air bubble right there. Hopefully I got it. I tried to. <laughs> and just kind of swirling that, making that make sure it's looking good. Because if you have any air bubbles, it will show through on it other layers. It won't look right. So, there's that one. Okay. Just going to set my things aside. And again, we're going to put this under the UV lamp. And we're going to let it sit and cure. And I think I'm actually going to do that. Let's see how well that works. <laughs> so, I could actually have them both up properly under the UV lamp. So, two rounds of 99 seconds. I'm going to speed this up. Meet you back when we get done. So I said I was going to do two rounds on this one, and I am, but I'm not. I am going to do two rounds fully on this piece, but on this one, I do hope that it is a little tacky, and I want it to stay a little tacky, because this is the point where I'm going to add the glitter uh, for the background. You can use just a white glitter, uh, or a silver glitter, or colored glitter, whatever you may or may not choose to use. Um, so I think... Um, sorry guys, I'm extremely unprepared for this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get out some of my white glitter, which I have a little pack right here. And I need to go ahead and put it in a little storage container. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Should grab some smaller ones, but that's ones I got. Oh well, that'd be all right. <laughs> I like these little storage containers because it keeps me from making a mess with the bag. Uh, so it's really nifty and comes in really handy. And that way if I happen to get more of glitter of uh, the same color or the same kind or whatever, I can mix it if I want to. Can't tell me what to do with my own glitter, you know. Okay, there we go. So... Uh, now I'm just going to come in with um, just a little paintbrush, you know, nothing super duper fancy. And I'm actually am going to try to pick up some of this glitter I spilled. Okay, and just it sits right there on top. Just going to dab it. Happy glitter. Happy snow. And I am putting some behind the tree because um, the piece will be a bit translucent. Translucent from the back side. So I don't want it to entirely be uh, opaque uh, where you can't see anything. I want it to almost be a double-sided piece. So that's all of the white that I'm gonna use. Uh, I think I am gonna use some green. Um, let's see. And I don't have a super dark green. But I do have that kind of green. It's almost a lime green. Uh, but I don't have a lot of choice on the matter. Because I am limited 
excuse me, I am limited on my um, glitter selections. Oh, that's hard to do. I'm just going to open this super quick. I just like to cut the tip and then just pour it straight on in. Go, pour out. Good gravy. <laughs> All right, I think that's about the most of it. Which that still leaves quite a bit of glitter in the pack, but there's not much I can do about it. So, um, what you can do is you can always just go ahead and clean off your uh, brush. Uh, if you don't want any white to mix in, at this point I kind of don't care because I want this to look like ground a little bit. So I'm doing slightly different from what the way I did the other one. Um, just going to come up just a little bit. Which I think the resin does still have a bit of tackiness like I was hoping for, which is really awesome. Okay, and I don't want a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Now I am going to wipe off what I can of that green glitter. Uh, get at least the most of it off. Yeah. That's pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to come in. Cover that glitter up before I make a mess. <laughs> now I'm going to come in with the silver glitter. And I'm going to top it off. And I'm not pouring this on because I don't want an extra super duper big mess to clean. Because I am horrible about making messes with glitter. You should see my house at times. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this is just to kind of give it some kind of a, uh, a background. A, you know, something pretty. You know, put a little bit back here. Okay. And I'm going to tap off what I can, set that aside, and I'll clean that off better in a little bit. So now, I am going to go in uh, with the resin again now. Um, go ahead, get this to pour out. Lord, I wasted a lot of glitter right here. Oh! <laughs> and I don't want too super thick of a layer because now that I've got all this stuff on there, it's not going to, the, the the UV light won't penetrate it as well as it should. So I'm just going to do a fairly thin layer. But I also don't want to move my stuff around either. So I've got to do a thick enough layer so that the resin itself can move on its own. And I don't have to. Uh, move it with my stick or anything. Just let's see. All right. All right. And while that is kind of laying flat, come on, come on. All right. While that's uh, flattening out, straightening up, we'll take a look at piece of the piece okay let's see how it's looking so it's kind of eh, eh. it does need some more <laughs> it does need it so we'll just come back in and this time we can do a little bit more of a puddle um and then spread it because we have more of a even surface even though it's not totally even it's it's a lot more even than it was um, just take your uh, toothpick or your stick or whatever you may have and get it to go kind of where you want to again if you're not wearing gloves please you do this with caution you see, you're seeing um, I'm having to kind of push my fingers off to the side so that hopefully I don't get resin on me. 
because I can't go wash my hands, but I'd rather not have to stop the video and take the time to do that. And when you do this, on one hand, you do not want to break the surface tension where uh, the resin will start seeping over the edge, but at the same time, you do want the resin to go to the edge. And you do want it looking nice and even uh, so that it just doesn't look like there's a break and like you've had to do layers. So I've got to pick this up and kind of look at it. That looks really good. All right. Now that that's had time to sit, this has had time to sit. We're going to do this again. And this time it is going to be a full two um, uh, sessions uh, on this to let both of those layers cure. And we'll be back. how this one is you see that's much better I see I do have a little um, concave spot right here hopefully oh there you go hopefully I'll be able to get that filled in but it doesn't have all those sharp pointy spots anymore and that looks much better than it did uh, and this one of course you can't really see it you, you know so we do have one more layer to put over this and we'll put a drop on the other one as well Now at this point, actually, if you wanted to, you could actually add just a little bit of uh, color like I did with the other. And we'll see how it goes because, uh, like I said, with, with this piece uh, entirely, the whole resin that I used was this one. And it just it didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped that it would. So I'm just going to put a drop of it on there on the table which I am using wax paper uh, so if you happen to wonder now at this point because I am going to use my alcohol inks because I don't have any um, <clears throat> UV uh, pigments yet um, I'm going to try to make this where it has a little bit of color like the other one does but it's still transparent enough that hopefully uh, that UV uh, light can still get through, penetrate it, and harden it. So, let's see. Oh, All right, grab my colors here. Figure out which one. This one. That one. All right. All right, so we're just going to pour. We're going to open it up. I have to open these very carefully. I actually, I'm not sure where I purchased these exactly, but I don't like them. Um, for one, because look at all that. I mean, that's, you know, you know that's a lot. That's horrible. Uh, and I'm just going to put a drop off to the side. Um, make sure I put my cap back on. And then I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to drag a little bit over here hopefully not too much and it is too much already so now since I've used too much I'm going to pull another little bit okay all right 
So let's just leave what little bit is on the toothpick and hopefully that won't color it too much. Because I actually, you could tell, I had success of not coloring too much on this one. It just, I don't know, I think it was the resin, I'm not sure. So this one's turning out much better. Much, much better. Yes. Oh, yes. So a little goes a long way with the, the alcohol inks that I have. Which I actually do have some others um, on the way. I'd order through AliExpress. Um, but, you know, AliExpress can take a while. Uh, and just picking it up. Transferring it over. And I can tell it's almost entirely hardened. It's not quite there yet, which is absolutely fine. I have no problem right now with it being still tacky. Um... And, and you can see with when, when you add like glitters and stuff, that can be a good thing. And doing this is not necessary. It's just, to me, it's just adding a little bit of something else to the background. Making it cute, you know. Picking up what I can. Sitting it down and moving it around. I don't want this to turn out too thick and be too colored, but I also, I, I want it colored, you know, I want a little bit of color in there, you know. I may have to make just a little bit more. Okay, actually I think that's perfect. I may not have it quite right, but it's close enough. I'm happy with that. All right, so now I'm going to cure that once uh, so that hopefully, hopefully that blue that I just put down, fingers crossed, will cure. So now at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and take my gloves off because I no longer need them. I'm not working with the, um, the dye anymore. Though at this point, I can sit here and play. <laughs> I can sit here and play if I want to. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. And see, already that little bit that's on there, it's extremely colored and it's just, that's not what I wanted. That's not the color. You know, I wanted it to stay transparent, you know, and that's just not what it did. Um, so, yeah. And you can see, even though because even though I still have to work on this piece, I'm not fiddling with it right now because I do have this lamp on, and it is pointing towards where I will need to work. So I'm not pulling out the resin yet uh, to continue on it. I don't want that to harden uh, before I'm ready. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys happen to be... Um, creating along with me in this video um, whether you're doing the same um, like little look that I'm doing or if you're doing something different I'd love to hear about what you're doing I'd love to see what you're doing um, uh, and you can always find me on my Facebook page which is of course facebook.com backslash h and s designs now um, I'd love to see what you're working on uh, there I do primarily um, sell my creations though I would still love to see what you guys have made out of my videos so we've got that cured that's been 99 seconds hopefully it's still tacky but hopefully it's also still um, you know hard enough that it's the blue will not mix with the clear I'm just gonna get that down Sometimes, I've, I've used quite a bit of this, and luckily I'd have ordered uh, two bottles, so I've got plenty of it on hand. And I've got more on the way. <laughs> so just finishing filling this in. This one is going to be a bit thicker of a layer, so I will want to 
uh, leave it in a full two, if not possibly even three. Okay, my camera stopped for some reason. <laughs> so luckily it stopped right when I was finished talking. Hopefully it got what I was saying. But we're just finishing filling this in. And I see I have a bubble, but I'm not going to worry about that. All right, and since I got a little blob right here, that's when I'm going to go ahead, set this one over here, fill in that little spot. Ooh, come back here. And I'm going to take a fresh toothpick and kind of... Spread it a little bit on the edges so that hopefully it's not as evident that I had to add more without adding a whole new layer because it's already thick enough. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. Let it kind of settle, you know, um, and since my phone is acting up. I'm going to let this settle, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and as you see, I just now started uh, my time. Uh, I did notice, though, that the resin did settle very well, especially on the, um, the bezel piece. It did seem to fill in and smooth out very well, so here's the hoping. Uh, I actually had to go ahead and plug my 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 camera up to my computer and move the files over so that I had more space to record because I use my phone <laughs> so eh, that's life it happens you know um so yeah and I did, did want to show you real quick this is something else that I was playing with yesterday I was actually trying to use um nail polish uh, and I did, if you can kind of see, I did set one snowflake right here. And I did use multiple colors of nail polish throughout. I It just, it didn't, you know, I guess I didn't let the nail polish dry because it looks all lumpy over here. and looks weird. But, you know, that's a part of experimenting. I'm sad that I ruined uh, a bezel, but... That's a part of it, you, you know. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any experiments like that, whether it turned out good or bad, hey, send me a pic or tell me. Let me know, you know. Let's see, you know, what you do. Uh, I also, the other day, had tried um, uh, taking a photo cut out of my kids. Um, and I didn't do so great cutting it out all the way because if you can see, like, right here... It's not, um, turn that back on. I, I didn't cut it quite right. Uh, and then I also ended up leaving bubbles. I don't, <laughs> I'm trying not to get my kid's face on there. But aren't they cute? Anyway, oh well. Uh, it's, I, I know it can be hard to see, but it, it ended up leaving bubbles on there. I still love this picture. It, I could have used, I could have cropped the picture down smaller. And I didn't realize that, but I'll still, I'll still use it. It's this lovely picture of them. Um, so, you know, again, you know, some spots that I didn't quite get it right, bubbles here and there, little bitty micro bubbles, but, you know, it happens. It's all about experimenting and trying, and it, I can tell now I didn't get the photo lined up, but that's okay. Eh. Eh. Things are going to happen. That's the whole point in, like I said, in experimenting and trying and doing different things and all that kind of stuff. And I'm wondering also, since, see, that's kind of tacky, and that's really good. I wonder if this has set at all, because it's got the light on there, and it's not. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, this part, it's still not set, but it's not as thin as this part, because there's just not, you know, the light can't penetrate it. So, that's something else to keep in mind. Don't add too much color or pigment to your UV resin or it will not set. Um, so that's another really good thing to show uh, on this video. I'm glad I did. 
Now I have to say also for both of these resins, both of these resins do get up, give off an odor. This one I can tolerate. This one was horrendous. Like, oh my gosh, it was bad. So I'm not looking forward to using that one, but I'm going to use it, you know, for the sake of letting you guys see um, how it is and, and how it acts and everything, which is coming up in a minute. So we let that go for two. Let's see. And that does look much better. It's still kind of a little, a little weird, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. So I really like how that one turned out. That's kind of, it's really kind of cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. So let's see, did this one fill in all the way, almost all the way. And that's absolutely fine. I have no problem with it. I wonder, I'm going to take a toothpick so that I don't get finger marks. Let's see. It's still a little on the tacky side, and I kind of suspected that. It probably just needs some sunlight. Um, so I'm hesitant on taking it out, but I am going to attempt to take it out and set it directly on my notepad without touching it, which is difficult. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That <laughs> come out. And yeah, it's still kind of tacky on this side as well. I see it left a line and there's like a weird spot right there. Probably from where I was just pushing it in. But look at that. That looks so much better than its predecessor. I see I got the tree crooked, but that's okay. Um, so I think just with this one, I think with if I set that in the window and let some UV light, if we actually have any, uh, uh, penetrate it. It would probably help to cure it some more. Um, I've also taken some other pieces and just taken some clear nail polish and covered it, and that seemed to work fairly well as well. Um, and you can also take some um, alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol, and rub it down, and that's supposed to take the tackiness off also. So there's that. I hope that you enjoyed seeing that. I'm actually going to set it back under my light one more time. So now, now that you saw how that one is, I want to show you how this one goes. Um, so I'm just going to start with putting a layer down. And I do want it thin. And right off the bat, fumes. Uh, not visible fumes, but I can smell it and just, whew, it's not great. It's not great, people. And I, unfortunately, uh, do not have any kind of a respirator. I do not have any kind of a mask. So I'm stuck breathing it. Uh, it's for the sake of the video, for the sake of you guys. So get a little bit more in that corner. A couple of little air bubbles. I ain't worried about it because this is probably going to be an unusual, unusable piece. So, um, there's that. I'm actually not going to add anything to that layer. Um, I'm going to get my light off and then turn it back on and let it set. Meanwhile, um, I don't think I want to do anything else with this one. So I think I kind of missed where the actual hole was on it. I set it more over here, but that's okay because it still did fill in a little bit. So you see how that one went. That one is kind of cute. So it's not the same. So you can see you can make them different, but still make them fairly the same. And I like that. That's really cute. And while this is kind of Christmassy, it's also just plain wintry. You know, there's nothing necessarily Christmassy about that. Um... So when that uh, square, get this top on here all the way, uh, when the square uh, finishes uh, in this cycle, we'll add a um, couple of little things uh, just to see how it's going to do, um, let it set, add a little bit more resin, and you know, it's an experiment. It's just to show um, the results of how it's going to go. I'm, I'm, I am kind of still, like I said, disappointed because <laughs> I thought this one turned out really cute. Somehow it looks like I got a hair in it or something right here. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird because that one was kind of cute. I don't know. 
and you can tell that it's it's just it just didn't turn out well at all just mm. so okay go ahead and take this and it is a bit warm to the touch on the back which I don't think it's fully cured but that's fine I'm not gonna worry about it and since I've got plenty of these stars I'm gonna use some of these stars throw just a few of them in there and that way we have something that we can actually see oop, and look at in it and it's not just a glob of clear resin you know Ooh, no you go over here <laughs> all right so I think that's pretty good Move it around a little bit. All right. Eh. So apparently it is cured enough that it's not really wanting to stick very well, is it? All right, but that's okay. All right, so now go ahead. Pour in another layer. Get that bubble to pop. So with this one, I am literally pouring the resin over top of the stars. And I'll give it a minute to also seep in. And the reason why I'm pouring it over top of the stars is I don't want them to move. I kind of want them to sit and stay. Which is not something that you should probably do because it can leave air bubbles of course but you know again with this one I have already used it I don't like it so what do I care <laughs> and going ahead and just filling it in another little dot right there all right top back on it get my toothpick make sure that it's got good contact on that hole I'm just making sure it's going all the way around all right so that's good with me and uh, I'm gonna scoot this one if it will and it won't <laughs> uh, which I actually let me there we go Oh no, that makes me sad. It tucked to the, no, I don't like that. It wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> it makes me really, really sad. No, oh, no, maybe I can clean it off. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see if it'll clean off. I'm really hoping it will though, because that one, I think that one turned out much better uh, than the first one over to the left. <laughs> uh so yeah i mean if any of you have any uh any questions general comments uh any suggestions for me uh video specific or just in general um i would love to hear them you can leave them in this video or any other video i have uh there's also a, a little discussion page on my channel uh, a discussion tab uh, so you can you know leave any thoughts there as well um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do please consider uh, hitting that subscribe button because uh, it will help me so much oh my gosh um, and you know it kind of every every person who hits that subscribe button and I get a notification I'm like yay somebody else who actually you know, wants to watch me do this <laughs> you know um and in which honestly you know if if you've been following my channel for a little while you see that i've been doing a little of this a little of that a little of the other you know there's not really any one thing that i've really stuck to uh i love working with wire i'm uh, i love working with you know, two-part epoxy resin, and now with UV resin, you know, just 
all kinds of stuff, you know, and it's just, oh, I can't get enough of it. It's just, it's another art form. It, it really and truly is. Um, and I've always had, I've, I've always gravita gravitated towards art. Uh, when I was actually a child, I actually was able to hand draw things quite well. Uh, you know, I'm not a Picasso or, you know, I'm not perfect, but I, you know, I did it well enough. You could tell what it was and it wasn't half bad. So I've always, you know, leaned towards the arts a lot more. Um, and I don't know why I never thought about this until, you know, last year. Um, and that's when I discovered, you know, making jewelry makes me happy, <laughs> you know, um, just, it is what it is, you know. Um, so any of you who, who watch to learn, you know, thank you. Uh, I hope that my learning experience helps you with your learning experience. Um, if you watch to see how it's made because you want to purchase something, right on. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it, you know, because not everybody, everybody can make jewelry, but not everybody wants to. Not everyone has the time to or the patience. Like, it takes patience for this, uh, you know. And, you know, some people are cut out for it and some people aren't. And so, if if you do hold an appreciation to those of us who do make jewelry, thank you. You, you know, your support means so much. You know, it just, it's it's wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. So, yeah, uh, coming up on time, all right, woo, didn't mean to bang that, so, let's see, it doesn't look like it's separated, like the previous one, now, it is, again, quite hot to the touch, I can't believe that, because I don't remember that one getting hot, like this one is, so I'm going to let that sit there and cool, that one makes me sad, that it's stuck, let's see what it does, let's see if it, yeah, it's kind of sticking a little bit, I think it's, cured a bit better on the underside on the front um i don't want to demold that just yet it seems to be pretty good now i don't know if you can see that on camera uh, but as i tap it it uh and there's a bubble uh it is loose yeah it is shrank a lot i can actually fit my toothpick in between the edge and which you see, I'm being very careful. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not moving, moving it around. Let's see if you can actually see that on camera. Watch as I, watch as I tap it. See, it's moving. So it shrank a lot and that's, that's crazy. See, there's, there's the gap. That's crazy. Now it is hardened. Uh, so I, I have to find... A, a use a good use uh, for for this resin uh, because and apparently it works it's just it shrinks a lot more than what I'm used to and that what I like um, so there's that and you can see yeah it still isn't isn't fully cured on the underside I don't like that because uh, it now it's it's eh, eh, I don't like that you know, uh, try not to touch it. Yeah, it is still, yeah, I can even move it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm letting that put back in there. <laughs> uh, even that thing. Oh my gosh. That's, wow. I didn't think that that was going to happen because it did. I don't think that it happened with this one, that, that this one was, was still tacky and is still tacky, but I, you know, I don't know. That's just weird. Oh, wow. See, different, different things, you get different results, uh, you know. So, so that's, you know, so that's, I guess you could say, my experiment and review on mainly this resin comparing to this one. Uh, this one did quite well. I'm shocked that that piece was still um, uh, not fully cured, but that, you know, it happens with UV resin, especially when you add things to it. But with this one... Uh, too much shrinking for my liking. Uh, the, ho the odor is horrible. So if you happen to get this one, please do it in a well-ventilated area or wear a, a mask or a respirator. Um, help me find a use. Uh, with all the shrinkage that this does, 
uh, you guys help me find a use for this one. This one being thicker, I don't want to add a lot of coloring to it, but it domes really, really well. So with it being thicker, that's what I like. With this one, I like the thinness of it. That's a little thinner, so it should be easier to add color. Um, but that, that shrinkage, I just, I can't get past the shrinkage amount on this one. And I thought this one was the one that, um, Yvonne Williams had received, um, so I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many of them. Um, but yeah, so I'll do my best to remember to link, uh, all, uh, all my supplies that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Uh, to the description box below. Again, any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, please leave those. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and matter of fact, if you haven't done so, hit the bell notification icon as well so that when I do upload a new video, you'll get that notification. You'll, you'll, they'll be like, hey, go watch this. You know? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so... That's that. That's it for today, I guess. Um, and so, hopefully, you know, you learned with me and you got a lot out of it, like I did. And eek. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.